Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for... Board games! And all things tabletop. Yes. Board games, card games, whatever games. Yes. Dice games. Dice games. All of the games. We love games. And uh, we love games so much that we recently found out, because it's pretty new still, that there is a board game cafe in a town very close to us, actually. Down in Branson, Missouri. So, Branson Board Game Cafe. Yes. Of course, I'm going to leave some links in the description below so that you guys can check it out yourselves. If you happen to be in the area, you should go check them out. They're super easy to find, too. Yes, very much. They have a great location. Yep, they're right at downtown Branson, right on the corner. Now, here's the thing. So Branson Board Game Cafe, what they do is they have a little area there and it's full of tables mm -hmm. and shelves with lots of board games. The best thing is you get to play as much as you want, as long as you want, all for a mere $5 cover charge. And uh, what's nice about that is say there's a game that you've uh, been thinking about buying. And if you play it and you're like, oh my god, this is so much fun. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Or you can do it, which was what we did, where I saw a game, because they do have some games for sale up front. And I was like, this game looks so cute. I'm going to totally get this game. And then I asked the guy, do you have this to play over there? And he goes, oh, yeah. So we go play it. I didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm not buying it. <laughs> so it's very nice to be able to try before you buy. They have everything yes. uh, sectioned off, usually by uh, different age. They did. They had groups and types of games and as well. le difficulty levels. That's right. And um, whether they were party games, strategy games, um, RPG style games, um, family kids. Um, and then like single or not single player, um, like two players or multiplayers. So that was that was really neat. I really thought that was cool. And the other thing that I did like is they did have multiple um, editions. So it's not like you had to, you know, run over and grab a bunch of games because you were afraid you weren't get to get to play them. They'd have two or three copies of, of certain games, which is also really cool. They also had puzzles too. So you know, if you wanted to sit there for a really long day and put a puzzle together, the other neat thing is, like we said, it's five dollars to get in, and it's five dollars all day long so you can stay as long as you want if you do want to leave and come back they will stamp your hand so uh that's that's always very handy because sometimes you know they do offer food there they have some food and they have some beverages and snacks but you know they're just sandwiches which i shouldn't say just sandwiches they were really good we tried one of them but uh you know you might want a more substantial meal or something something that's going to be great for them because they we did ask them and they said unfortunately they weren't open in time for branson con but next year, this thing is going to be huge for Branson Con <laughs> people because you can go play at the, you know, the convention, and if you get tired of that or whatever, or when the floor closes, because I believe most of the time they're open until midnight, so you can go over and you know hang out at the board game cafe. So it's gonna be super awesome for any kind of conventions. That It'll be a lot of fun there. to go yeah. in there and see so many of the cosplayers playing some tabletop games. Yes. And it's also great for, uh, it's really, really close to the Branson Landing, which is a big shopping thing. So I guess, you know, if like spouses or kids get bored of shopping with mom or dad or boyfriend or girlfriend, you just go hang out at the board game cafe. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one other thing is, like I said, we did mention it's $5 to get in. They did. They do have a price break at um, families are $20. So they didn't specify what a family was. So I'm basically going to assume that once you've reached four people, after that, it's only just $20. They do also have a monthly fee. If you want to pay a monthly, you can go as many times as you want. And I believe the first, I only looked at the first tier, and the first tier started at $20 a month, and you can go as many as you want. I did nice. look at the rest of the tiers. So it may be one of those things where, like, if you go three or four months at a time, it may, you know, get cheaper or whatever. Now, back to that naming convention. Again, just to touch on this once more, it is called Board Game Cafe. Yes. So as she said, they do have food available there, some sandwiches and snacks. And first of all, it's really fun because they have themed names for all of the food. They do. There. They do. And uh, the snacks was something that really won you over. Because yes. who doesn't like to have some munchies while yes, you're playing you always tabletop? Play, you always get munchies while you're playing with tabletop stuff. And they, it was a snack bar which was so cool and it was 40 cents an ounce which is super cheap 
And basically, we just went over and we're like, I want a scoop of this, I want a scoop of that. And it was things like M&M's, peanuts, honey roasted peanuts, cashews, Rolos, which I love Rolos. Your gummy bears. My gummy bears. There was Swedish fish. They had um, pretzels. Just pretty much anything you could think of as a snack. And the thing we liked about it was they had, you could, it was basically make your own trail mix and you didn't have to put the pretzels in it because neither <laughs> one of us liked pretzels. So it was awesome. <laughs> we really liked that part. So yeah, there was, it was really good. And the other thing is, is, um, she's the owner's wife um was experimenting with drinks while we were there so we got to try a new drink that she had cut came up with and it was peanut butter chocolate iced milk mm -hmm. and it was so good it was very good. of course i told her i was like you had me at peanut butter i mean it doesn't really matter what it was gonna taste like so now speaking of the staff uh it seemed like it was a family group there and they were incredibly nice they the were, whole time yes. um they also had ipads available mm -hmm. uh to show like videos for how to play the games yeah, game because tutorials. let's face it sometimes the rules i know that they have to be very specific in the paper but uh sometimes it, it gets a little muddled and it's a lot easier to have someone in a video just kind yes. of explain it to you so that was nice because they were constantly going around checking up on people, making sure mm -hmm. they didn't need any help playing the games and answering any questions whenever they could. And they had different size tables. There was, you know, tables for two, tables for four, group tables. There was even a room in the back that looked like it was a party room so you could even like rent it and do a big old game party or whatever. And so it did seem very inviting that, you know, we just played just the two of us together, but I really don't think anybody would have had an issue if we were like, hey, you want to come play with us? Or, hey, can we get in on that game? You know, it's that kind of vibe. You feel like it the, could just be inviting. The patronage there, definitely. They definitely seem like the kind of people that at any point they would be yeah. like, yeah, sure, here, we'll deal you in. Yeah, yeah. All right, and speaking of games, you... You found the one that you thought you wanted to buy but didn't want to buy because Correct. you didn't enjoy it. But then you found I one found that one I you fell, fell in love, love with. with. Yes, I did. And we played it a couple of times. You won a round and I won a round. And the game is called 10 Minute Heist. And it's so much fun. I love fast games. I like games. I mean, long games are fun too, but sometimes it's fun to just get a game that doesn't take very long. So you can play like multiple things, either multiple hands of the game or multiple other rounds. And um, this one was just a lot of fun. It's a... You, there's this, it's a, I mean, it's a big setup though. There's a big long tower and you basically just try to steal as much stuff as you can and, you know, win it. But yeah, I definitely. So this was a fun game for just the two of us to play, but I think it's mm -hmm. going to be even more fun adding in more players. Oh yeah, it's two to five players, ages 14 and up, takes 10 minutes to play. Never heard of this game, never knew anything about this game, but thanks to this cafe, we found a game and I immediately bought it. I mean, it was so much fun, so worth it. So thank you, Board Game Cafe. <laughs> All right, well, jumping back to the staff, we actually did take just a few moments of their time to talk to them. So please listen in their words a little about Branson Board Game Cafe. All right, so you want to introduce yourselves to our, we call them nerdlings. That's okay, yes. well, welcome nerdlings. Uh, I'm Les Carpenters, my wife, Tammy. We're owners of Branson Board Game Cafe. And uh, at Branson Board Game Cafe, our goal is to uh, help people connect and build relationships through playing board games. And we have a library of uh, about 670 different board games. That is awesome. And uh, when you come in, you pay a small cover charge. You can stay all day and play as many games as you'd like. And then we also have sandwiches and coffee drinks and snacks and candy and treats and that kind of thing to uh, have while you're playing board games. So how long have you guys been open? So we are now finishing our second week. Second so week? Second wow. week being open. Um, <laughs> so we're really excited. It's been a lot of fun so far. So do you purchase, have you purchased all these games or were some of them donated? So um, most of them are games that uh, we either had as our own personal collection, we built up over the years. And then when we knew we were gonna start a board game cafe, we got really serious about going out and buying board games. We did a lot of research, looking at, looking at reviews, and uh, trying to decide uh, which games would be best and would be a good fit for the board game cafe. And then uh, going from there, we're trying to add a few more games uh, periodically so we keep the, the library fresh. So what are your hours? So now we're open uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're open from 2 in the afternoon to 11 at night, Friday till midnight. Saturday we open at noon, we're open till midnight. And Sunday, 3 to uh, 9. 3 to 9, okay. 
Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. This was so much fun, and we will definitely be back. And hopefully wanted... all of you guys will come out. Oh, and that's right. You had a drink that you made today. Yeah, uh, we've got, been getting requests that everybody likes coffee drinks. So I created a iced peanut butter uh, chocolate milk. Uh, just to give something for everyone. And I tried that today and it was really, really good. But I like anything with peanut butter, so <laughs> so you did a good job. So, nerdlings, check them out in the links below and come down to Branson and check out the, the Branson Board Game Cafe. All right, so like I said, very nice people. Yes. A very cool place. The uh, whole drive home, I think that she was, uh, you know, just seconds away from jerking the wheel and turning us around yeah. and taking us right back in there. Yeah. If we didn't need to go home and feed a little one, I uh, think we probably would have stayed a whole heck of a lot longer. <laughs> and I will say the very next day, I was like, you want to go back to the board game cafe? Let's she go. Was. Come on, let's she go. Really let's was. go. So I am definitely ready to go back. I was actually, as we were walking out the door, I was literally pointing, okay, next time we come back, I'm playing this one. I'm going to play this one. I'm going to try this one. So, yeah. All right. Lots of well, fun. nerdlings, we would definitely love to hear what you think of this board game cafe, yes. what you think of the idea of a board game cafe. Is this something that you would be interested in? Because if you are, maybe uh, drop some earworms in your area yeah. of the woods because uh, maybe someone can set that up or maybe you could set it up and get some people in. Or help us win the lottery so we can set it up <laughs> on our own. and then you We'll do a traveling us. one yeah. and we'll come see you guys. <laughs> but anyway, we definitely want to hear those comments. Leave a like if you happen to like the video and if you wouldn't mind, please share this video so that Branson yes. Board Game Cafe can get a little more notoriety out there, yes. a little more exposure. We want them to stick around. <laughs> and uh, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell because we always have new videos coming out. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world, like visiting board game cafes, and to just know that a video is dropped because sometimes YouTube just doesn't let you know. And don't forget to hit us up over on Tee Public and get some of our merch. All right, well, nerdlings, when it comes to tabletop games, we don't even need to say it, but we will if we like it. We nerd it for board games.